Hi, welcome back to Beauty by Jesse. Today we're going to be doing science fiction themed space makeup. We're going to be doing a makeup tutorial inspired by the Nine Worlds convention that I'm going to this weekend. Nine Worlds is a science fiction and fantasy con that I haven't been to before and I'm really excited about going. So in honour of my weekend away, I decided that I would do a space themed makeup tutorial. I am a little bit scared. Uh, I love science fiction, I love space, I love crazy makeup on other people. I don't usually do really wild looks on myself, but since I'm going to con this weekend, I thought I would push the boat out and enjoy myself and really try and get something intergalactic going today. Now I've got the First Light Priming Filter as my primer for, by Becca. It's a lilac opalescent primer. It looks like that. Um, but don't worry, it doesn't tell you in your face purple. It's just meant to brighten up your complexion. I personally don't see a difference. But since we're doing space makeup, it seemed appropriate. Take my shadow insurance, my mirror. Ideally, you should be using your ring finger to apply foundation. Uh, you should use your ring finger to apply primer because um, you don't want to poke yourself in the eye basically and uh, the ring finger is a lot weaker than the other fingers. Okay, then I'm gonna set the lid with a light color. I'm probably going to use base from the Norvina palette and I'm applying that with my favorite e.l.f. blending brush. I don't know why I purse my lips like that when I'm doing stuff, I think it's my concentrating lips. start off with this bad boy. So this is my Pro Angled Liner number 22 from Sephora. Okay. And then I take my Noir ABH eyeshadow. The singles from ABH are quite expensive, but they're worth it. This one is anyway. Itchy. Okay, wish me luck. Ooh. Okay, so for this I'm starting off from the bottom. Oh. There we go, that looks nice, let's just go home now. Okay, no, 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 be serious. Okay, and then what I'm gonna to try to do is take the eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, so it's sort of following the natural line of my lower lash line. I tell you, I'm about this far away from doing another Poirot challenge. Okay, so now I think it'll, like, I've got the angle under the eyes okay. I'll um, bring the eyeshadow around. We're looking a little bit refinery 29 right now, but anyway, slightly larger brush. So I got this one from my friend Ali. Hi Ali, if you're watching. So I'm gonna go back in with a smaller fluffy brush. This is one that came with the ABH palette and I'm gonna blend out the edges using a softer color. Okay, and so I'm just blending now. I think this is my job now, is just blending out this black. I haven't actually got forever. Let's add some shimmer. Okay, I'm using my MAC Cool Tone eyeshadow. That's one of my Beauty and the Beast makeup brushes. Very happy. Ugh. Ugh, got eyeshadow on my trousers. Pick up a lot of shadow on the brush. Don't be stingy because this stuff ain't that pigmented. And then once it's all on the brush, then you spray it with fixing spray. This is a Maybelline Super Stay Spread It Setting Spray. Spray it on the brush. And then put it on your face. Coating the outer two thirds of the lid with the blue. Hello everyone. Um, so my battery ran out on my camera. So while I was off air, I did my face. I put some foundation on and some concealer and I also had some lunch and just generally took selfies of myself looking a bit like a space panda. I've still got some blending to do. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I think basically if you're going to try this at home, which I don't necessarily recommend, but if you are, um, make sure that you've got a good blending brush. And then also, I don't know whether I said this or not, but I've been using this color here to blend out the edges and make them look nice and diffused. 
Mmm, the space panda is looking good. Let's get some glitter in there, shall we? So today I'm going to be using a, an old, old favourite. This is um, Barry M Dazzle Dust in 98. I'm not even sure whether they sell this anymore. So I'm going to, first of all, clean off my hands. Ah! I'm going to use the flat end of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. concealer over that in a second. No, ah, so much fallout. Oh, I look like I'm crying. Space tears. Oh dear. Ugh. So as you can see, I'm blending that out. I'm just not getting much glitter. I'm gonna try my old trick with the setting spray. Mm. Glitter flakes on my face, everywhere. Not that great. Right, that's enough. I'm going to go clean up. Well, the good news is that the blue is popping. The bad news is that I need to redo both of my cheeks. Do boo boo. Time to cut out a portion for some white. So I'm using my NARS concealer to provide a base for the light colours. Hokey pokey. Next thing, light eyeshadow. Gonna use a shader brush. Do do do. Number 18 from Sephora. And then I'm gonna dip in with this white colour from MAC. This one here. Do it with my finger instead. Oh, that's better. Okay. We're going to be using a slightly more user-friendly Dazzle Dust. This one's going to be from Makeup Forever. It's one of their Starlit Powders in shade number five. Iridescent, unicorny, white to lilac colour. Again, using my finger. Okay, and then I'm dabbing it lightly across the middle of the eye. Next step is going to be eyeliner. So let's sort this situation out. Speed. <laughs> I think that looks a lot better, but <laughs> it's taken a bit of time to get here. Okay, I'm just using a neutral blush. This is Party, and I got it free for my birthday from Sephora. It's by Tarte. Okay, and I'm gonna top that blush off with some highlighter. Using um, Gumdrop from the Sugar Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So we're just gonna go for our trusty number seven mascara. I'm gonna be using my lip liner from Milani in nude. <clears throat> nude. I'm still finding random sprinkles of eyeshadow on my face. Okay, I'm using Anna Audacious Lipstick. So what I'm doing here is just, I don't know whether this is lip safe or not. Don't try this at home. But I'm using my highlighter as a lip topper. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the most challenging makeup challenge I have ever done and probably the messiest as well. If you are going to Nine Worlds this week, please look out for me. I probably won't be wearing this makeup, but I'll try and look nice anyway. Like, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll be in touch. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>